And we're going first. Hey, I like it. Is this a music stream or is this not a music stream? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. Is this an Out of Shadows turn or is this not an Out of Shadows turn? These are also questions that I have to ask myself. Feeling like probably not. I mean, we could occupy this spot, but that's just easy pickings for Valeria, so... Meh. Honestly tempted to put the Moto Boots on the Sniper to get extra shots on the Justice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty lit. Fuck it, let's try different things. <laughs> we don't have to be super lame all the time, right? <clears throat> We're allowed to, like, have fun when we play this game. Are we? I'm actually not sure. Are we allowed to have fun when we play this game? anyone know just inefficient to move it like that oh my goodness it will take damage to the justice oh maybe we just and honestly the damage to the justice like makes me kind of not want to do it maybe we're fine with that like What's she gonna do to me? We're chilling. Um, is there a world where Fox wants to be anywhere else? Eh, not really. Okay, smoke bomb on the like this is better on the Machinus, but whatever. What to the Evers, am I right? Um let's summon Sinsen, actually. Now that I I get to the point of the turn where I'm like, all right, then like what's happening after that? Like like once I before I do attacks, I'm like, okay, like what are my discards? How's that gonna work? Even though I think Donkey said that the first thing he thinks about in the given hand is discards. Um, maybe we lose the out of shadows. I kind of doubt it though. It's an over here seems good. Just barely like. In a spot where she could be used, maybe. Um, and we're not going to drop any of these cards. That's fine. That will take a punch. Will be a shot. I mean, at this point, we should have just had blocks shoot. Like, why bother? Even get the sniper in there. But it's fine. And Vox could have gone. Vox could have gone there to shoot. We could have moto boot. That would have been way better. <laughs> I mean, we could have gotten hit by a thingamajigger, but whatever. Uh, I'm tempted to discard the out of shadows. Ooh, that's a good hand. It sucks that we were not at two for the second machinist, which could be helpful, but we're vibing. Olby put his votes in April Madness. Hell yeah, everyone go vote. Go vote April Madness. Got get your votes in this weekend. On stream today. If you want to be as cool as Colby, head over to the All Factions channel. Uh, yeah, we need to vote. Um... Let me see, maybe maybe I'll pull that up even. So I gotta do that this weekend.
Submit your responses by April 7th. It's April 5th. All right, we'll like to, we'll like take this in our in in, in between downtime. Uh, so yeah, you can you can take a look at the full spreadsheet. Uh, there's there's a video on my YouTube channel too of me and Beans easily going through the full spreadsheet. Oh, I should pull that up too. I should just pull it all up. To do, do. okie dokie. Here was born. Here it is. This is what it looks like. These will be. This will be week one votes, and then we'll have future week votes. I don't think week one is pretty small week. I think it's the pre rounds or whatever. Not or not that many champions at least to vote for. Pushing up in our face, probably good. Punishing me for holding cards pretty greedily. Hmm. I wonder if we smoke bomb the sniper and shoot Valeria. <laughs> IDK. IDK. Lots of options here. Yeah, smoke bomb sniper, shoot Valeria. Blox is probably just going to shoot that justice. This versatile attack does very little. Except for damage us. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we don't versatile attack that. I mean, granted, this... Sniper is going to be a three, it has to be a three on three to get the kill. So maybe we do. <laughs> oh, and the Machidus can then attack again. Okay, fine. But this still needs to be a three on three to get the kill, so this isn't very good. It'd be better if we just backed up here, but whatever. But whatever. Gonna do two whole attacks to kill this, huh? I mean, this could let us do versatile stuff. Yeah, it's fine though. This is fine. Tenzin could be shot at. Well, wow. oh, that had three attack. Damn, <laughs> it's a lot of attack. Oh, we can still move. Excellent. Get out of there. Double smoke bomb first turns is very good. Maybe we attack Valeria with this, honestly. I know that's like a hot take at this point, but... This guy, this guy, like... I don't know, I would rather just make Valeria afraid. <laughs> Like, I like Valeria being afraid. I mean, that would have done no damage to the Arbiter of Peace. <laughs> and we fought before this, anyways. Um. Okay, call me greedy as heck, because this is greedy as heck, but... Shadows could really be good with a Machinist in hand next turn. I'm going to be greedy. If they push me, we could be in a bad spot. Let's hope they don't push me.
Oh fuck, I need to make the poster for me and Vexer. That's something I can do right now. <laughs> ben does his errands on stream. Yeah, we're doing because we're doing it tomorrow. Okay, that's definitely something I can do right now. Do 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 do. I'm just enjoy staring at a blank screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just, just for, just for a second here. Ooh, goody, goody. Hmm. All right. What's the, what's the matchup? We got it's Celeste versus Polar Dwarves, right? I say right as if I don't know. Surely it is. Uh, it's still, it's still a blank screen. We're getting there, I promise. Do, 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 Oh my goodness. Back to that. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll show you more what I'm up to in a second. So they retreat after our declaration of war. No, they don't do anything. All right, here, here's what we're working on. This. And then... Gets far in there. Good stuff. No. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I like it. I like it very much. Darn. Uh, yeah, that machinist hold didn't really pay off. That's okay. Is okay. Um, yeah, this suck a little bit. That's fine. Just needlessly expo expose Vox a little bit right now. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Copy you. Boom, bada boom. Using Sniper as a shield, even though there's better things it could be, but whatever. 
got our third row gate. If we miss, we're punished a little bit for that. Enough to make me think twice about it. This gate is also kind of just better. Eh, but we kind of want to, like, be the ones hitting the hits. Why? Why have we queued this matchup so much? Why is it always high elves? <laughs> like, why? What is happening? How, how exposed is Vlox? It's fine. It's fine. If Vlox gets hit by this justice as well, that also kind of sucks. Um, is this gate better? I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one. I think we discard this Machinus. Oh, and both of these take damage. Fuck. Yep, and then it's alive, and then it hits blocks, and then it's still alive. Oh my goodness. What a mistake. This is gonna harm my summoner? Because they have a tone! Oh my god. We didn't even kill it! Everything is bad. Oh my goodness. Let's go back. Let's go back over here. <laughs> In a world where everything isn't bad. Why, why was it so hard to... Copy these over. Okay, let's zoom in. This is, this is the new format I'm doing for these posters. Just, just, just fix yourself. No. Adobe Express. I hate it. But I'm not paying for p Photoshop. <laughs> You're not part of an organization that'll give you Photoshop for free? It is not worth it. I hear GIMP is like a free software that is good, like a bit clunkier of an interface that's like harder to get used to, but does all the same things. Maybe we'll try it, and then we just need a different background. Okay, and we're doing it. Saturday. April 6th. At 12 p.m. Back in our game here. Go offend someone who's done their games. And then take a screen cap of it. Go, Nick. Good job. Good job. No way that'll work, yeah. No. Ugh. All right, Saturday, April 6th at 12 p.m. ET. That seems correct. On Saturday. I think I got the date wrong once. One of these. No one corrected me. Oh, you can't see my screen. I was planning on doing this before I streamed, I promise. But then I didn't. Oh, and I'm posting over Tortugatron. Well, nothing to be done for it. This is happening tomorrow morning.
We posted it. We're in there. We did our duty. All right. Oh, no, we're still good. I was like, oh, we're not getting hit for a bajillion. No, we are. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Though I wonder, do we hit Valeria for six? <laughs> Is that worth it? Hmm, interesting. We certainly could. Um, I bet we could even get out of it. Yeah, we could. We could feasibly retreat as well. Um, um, we'll still get hit again. Fox might even be out of the game. Sort of hit again. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Nothing to be done for it? <laughs> Versatile would even be really bad for me. Okay, is this really worth like all of my health right now? Just to shoot six at Valeria? And then keep Vlox exposed. If there was a way to do it without exposing Vlox, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Maybe if we could also kill that Justice this turn. Because our attacks will be move phase attack, move phase attack, and then attack phase attack, attack phase attack attack to send Vlox back, and then this is our third attack phase attack. So you'd have to 4 for 4 that justice to get it. Which is not incredibly likely. Eh. Eh. You only live once. Oh my goodness, we have a tone too, so we're taking two damage doing this. This is such a bad idea. The tone is so bad for us. Okay. We might just... We might just take a single hit here <laughs> on Valeria and call that good. Um, is this worth bursting? Probably. And yeah, that's out of justice range, so absolutely. Okie dokie. Alright, first order of business. Get this crap out of here. Back in order of business. Kill justice. So, I mean, I've seen better turns, I've seen worse. Hopefully we kill this. Yes, now we don't have a tone. Good stuff. Go up to four. I like it. My turn to game of Summoner Wars. I do not believe you. Where are you going to take me? Lies. We've been lied to. Alright, so April Madness. We got a vote for week one, so just all of these votes for week one. What are we doing? I don't think it's too many. Um these are just what I believe. Lucian, Wrath, Casamar. Who the hell is Casamar? That's some that's from um, Crimson Order, right? Devura. 
Samara, Mickey and Daru definitely goes to Samara. Better design. Who the hell is voting for Mumway? Albus is awesome. Cyrook or Shonk? Honestly, I, I've always loved Shonk so much, but I'm giving it to Cyrook. Cyrook is a great. Uh, Baldo, love Baldo. Hellfire Cultist versus Spirit Mage. Uh, I don't care for Spirit Mages at all. Blood Berserker versus Mud Drudger. Blood Berserkers suck. Honestly, just because I hate Blood Berserkers, I'm going to go Mud Drudger. I don't really like Mud Drudgers that much, though. Bog Shaman versus Rhino. Easy Bog Shaman. And I just hate Savannah Elves. I don't know why. Little Paladin versus Enigma Sage. Gotta be Enigma Sage. Deceiver versus Thunder Charger. Tough choice, but Deceiver is like... I mean, one of the most powerful commons in the game, which might be the reason why it's so much fun to play. Justice versus Sentry Cog? Who's not going to go Sentry Cog? Sackle Priest versus Sage Ranger. That's from Crimson Order, and Sage Ranger is from Shadow Elves. Um, the priests are cool. I, I like I like neither Rangers. Um, well, I can't go back. Magcog versus Frost Mage. Didn't... What was the other cog that I voted for? <laughs> I thought I thought we already had a mag cog. Uh, well, anyway, mag cogs are awesome. Rust Rider versus Royal Warrior. Royal Warrior, easy. Carrier versus Oshorn. Ooh, that's tough, but I'm a big carrier guy. Citadel Advisor versus Ember Archer. Advisor takes it. Arbiter of Peace versus Shadow Mage. I mean, I hate Arbiters of Peace, but they sure are interesting. Uh, Mind Wardens versus Fighters. Didn't we already have Fighters? No, we had Chargers. Mind Warden versus Fighters. Eh, it's gotta be Fighters. I don't play either of them a whole lot. Guild Gunner versus Ember Guard. Didn't we have Ember Guard? No, that was the Royal Guard. See, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> um... I like Ember Guards. I also like Guild Gunners. Uh, let's come back to this. Let's see that it's my turn. Only three dice. Ain't no thing. Ain't nothing. Griffin does not appear to be protecting Valeria a whole heck of a lot. So we're going to try to manipulate. Try to, try to use that to our advantage. And hope it doesn't get us killed. Uh, we got another OOS. Could get us dice on Valeria this turn. Probably not worth it. And Valeria's behind is protected. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they could pretty easily just shove a unit out of the way. And then go for Vlox. You didn't oblige to do that. That was good enough for me. Um, the Arbiter of Peace makes it a little bit tough to actually kill this. Maybe we go for something else, but... And we do really want our attack to kill this. That is, in fact, fairly critical. I mean, Dagger gets the job done. Shows our hand. But then I was planning on having two different units block both of these sides. But I mean, we only get three attacks. So if I'm attacking this, this, and this, like... I don't really need something on this other side. Um, unless it was a gunner? I could have a gunner throw Vlock out of harm's way after attacking the piece. Seems a little bit lame. I could have a sniper from behind the gunner. 
Okay, sniper from behind the gunner. Okay, so we, we, we put a bandit here. We put a sniper here. Box goes there. This goes there. I mean, okay, we're exposing our boy quite a bit. But... They would need... A couple kind of specific cards to kill me. I'm not selling it. I am not selling it. it. It's a bit of a risk. <laughs> bit of a risk. I don't know what to say. Um, YOLO? There's a decent chance I'm not dead. Lox has taken a beating. We've definitely used him pretty liberally. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, Well, I do really want to finish that off. I do also want to finish off that, but we need to kill this. Do, this, do we prior, do we deprioritize Valeria? No way in hell. No way in hell. Fuck you. We'll go for the one for one. Take your one for one. Didn't need anything better. Please don't kill me. Alright, Ember Guard, Guild Gunner. I like both of them. I think I, I want to hate on Vlocked a little bit, because I, I I really like Gunners, but... Ember Guard, like, I, I like Obsidian Doors better than Cloaks. I feel like I'm gonna... I don't know. I think I'm gonna, like, regret it if I don't pick Guild Gunner. Like, I, I, feel, I feel guilt if I don't pick Guild because, like... Guild Gunner is, like... I love the fashion. I love I love the wind mage, but friendly units. I just I was, I don't know the guild gunner plus sniper combo plus like just all the movement. It's just too much movement. In Fox's deck, but I, I, I like guild gunners. Um, Brent Trap versus lioness, easy. Bog witch versus wind mage, easy. Or is it just like a faction thing? Like bog witches are cool, but I just like breakers better. Dollar versus Ember Mage. Ember Mage. Fuck, which one is Ember Mage? Oh my goodness. There's an Ember Mage? Oh, okay, no, that's the, um... That's the one with Guarded and Phoenix Elves. Oh, uh, I like Ember Mages, yeah. Gem Dancers versus Smasher. I love me Gem Dancers. It's tough, though. I love me some Smashers, too. Diver versus Sage. Sages are, like, one of the best units in the game. Absolutely adore them. Seer versus Glory Caller. Hard to, hard to fight it. Sniper versus Beast Rider. Alright, I'll hate on the snipers. Fuck snipers. Um Vine Mancer versus Aerie Stewart. It's funny, I, I, I chose Shadow. I chose Sage Ranger, but that might have been a mistake. Sage Rangers are kind of lame. Vine Mancer versus Aerie Stewart. Vine Mancers are very cool. Bear Cav versus Rogue. Screw Bear Cavs. Boring. Ember Demon versus Mind Knight. I swear my knight was up for grabs before. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I like Ember Demons. I like Balzer. Good stuff. Congrats, we did it. Well, you got a kill on me? You got anything on me? Don't kill me. We, we've done so many shots at Valeria, and she's still at, like, full health. Tertigatron just gaslighting some people in the chat. Good, good. Or in the in the Discord, I mean. All right, I'll stop skimming through the cord. No, I won't. Who, who am I kidding? Anything else? There, there was there was some hot DG discussions going. 
People convinced me warrior down to zero attack. Seems like a good fix. Instead of minus one boost, because like, I don't know, it's more fun to still have the boost. I persuade but warrior negative one attack when when we appear to be alive. They have a blithe for dead. Yeah, all they need to have is a blige and we're dead. Well, we could have played this one better. I admit. I admit. You don't need to play a blige. No one's no one's forcing you to play a blige. Yeah, I mean if they don't have a blige, we win. <laughs> <laughs> so easy game, easy life. They are taunting me, you fucker. <laughs> Just wait thirty minutes and then play a bludge. Miss, miss, miss. Alright. Next game we do better. Played it too much on the edge. Too close to the edge there. Ooh, why am I still playing cloaks? Did I end my high elves phase? I don't know. I think I need to get back though, but I mean, I had more April. We had some fun games <laughs> uh, with the cloaks. So, I, you know, I figured we could try to keep it running for a little bit. See what our rank was with the cloaks. I feel like we won a lot of games. Yep, not anymore. Out the window. Oh, I would try to get top 10 with the forge, but like, sorry, with the other forged, but. Eh. Too much gaming. Too much gaming. Like I, I I I I forged myself out. They're a lot of fun, but I I I, for, I forged out. I, I I don't I don't need any more forged in my life for a little bit. Let's see who who do I need in my life. I think I, I'm liking this thing where I'm like actually trying to learn high elves and cloaks. That's cool. At some point swamp or, swamp folks need to be in there too, but I don't want to burn myself out on like the like big tasks like try to learn a faction that i'm bad at stuff so i don't know maybe some polar dwarves at some point like the faction that i like i, f I feel like i can pilot decently well like it's kind of obvious what their strengths are just like big stuff <laughs> um but i feel like there's a very high skill ceiling and i'm nowhere near it with like ram shift turns and just general positioning and Knowing, like, whether you're taking a more, like, aggro or passive approach and, like, which commons you're going for in a given game. Seems like there's, there's a lot of variability in Polar Dwarves play and how you can do it. Because I just do Frost Mage. I I'm always just Frost Mage, Golems, Parapets, and then try, try to spam. Like, I always just do spam a bunch of Golems, try to get some Glacial Shift, Ram sh Glacial Shift turns, and then Ram Shift, and then by the end of it, hopefully you're winning. And bear calves, ice smiths, trash, discard them all. 
Uh, which, even though that is like their own, their own little thing there. Their own little mini combo. What if there's any way to know which week is the free faction? I feel like there isn't. In the real world. Wow, I can be a real boy playing Summoner Wars. That's crazy. I was wondering if they were going to put these here to be symmetrical. These aren't even out yet. That could be a mermaid that isn't underwater because that's how it works in Summoner Wars because Colby hates fun. And the Stormies. Good stuff. The image makes me happy. The image on, on Plaid Hat's site. Let me search it. Plaid Hat Summoner Wars. This. This makes me very happy. The line of all the Summoner Wars decks back to back. Oh, oh boy. This one doesn't include the two most recent. <laughs> Only the other one. This, this is a sexy picture. Big fan. Big fan. Man, I, I just, I just, I want to catch up just looking at this picture. The game that started it all. There's no way this is that good of a YouTube video. All right, let's click it. 12 years ago, Plaid Hat Games arrived with their very first release. I think this is very loud. Summoner Wars, a fast-playing, action-packed two-player card game that was critically acclaimed for blending the fun of deck building with the tactics of a miniatures game. I might be raging a little bit, but this is one of the best games of 2009. Fantastic game. Definitely give it a try. You should buy this game. Like lots of great two-player dueling games, it manages an incredible intensity. This is actually really cool. Unlike what the fuck? Of them, it also remembers to be fun. An entire army is contained within a single deck of cards. No, Vanguards are all about healing. Summoner Wars, prostě vysypete. Oh, how about yourself? Summoner Wars. Summoner Wars. Summoner Wars. Summoner Wars. Plaid Hat is revisiting the game that started it all. Oh, Summoner shit. Wars 2nd Edition is a fully expandable, tactical dueling card game featuring updated versions of beloved factions, along with exciting new factions ready to join the battle. You are a summoner, a powerful being who harnesses the what magic is of that? the mysterious <laughs> summoning stone to lead their followers to conquest on the war-torn planet <laughs> and, of Tharn. And this music. Wield terrible magic on the battlefield. Awaken <laughs> the dead. Drain <laughs> your enemies of their power or rain down fire from the heavens. But be wary. The opposing summoner will also be leading hordes of warriors onto the battlefield. It will require ruthless tenacity to end the struggle for supremacy. Summon your forces to your gates and defeat your enemies with clever tactics. Rout opposing champions or smash the gates of your foes. Anything to take control of the board and gain magic. Once you have the enemy summoner cornered, take them out. There's no mercy on Athari. Oh shit. Seems like a good game. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get it. I don't know. We'll see. See how it turns out. Doing a Summoner Wars tournament. Oh shit. That was a year ago.
Look at how old it used to be. They used to be the little claw marks. I don't know if I ever played when the claw marks were there. I think I did. Oh, we'll be on Twitter. Look at all the stuff we can buy. I don't know why the deck boxes appear before the actual deck. I think that's a that's an L. Oh, the decks really cost fifteen dollars. It is so worth it to get the subscription then. I mean, maybe maybe at like a local store you could get less. That's 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 Colby and Orange Lazarus. Hell yeah. Did all of the all of the, the Gen Con booths. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Do we have a game to play? <laughs> N-O-P-E. No games for you. Let me, I'm going to be quiet for a second. I'm going to try to get some music on here or something. I am this loud. I am this loud. The music should be quieter. That seems pretty good. You still hear me? That seems decent. What? I say all right, and it doesn't pick up my mic. <laughs> Need a better mic. Okay, screw it. You know, I'm just annoyed by the mic. We're turning off noise suppression. There we go. Now, now there's a little bit of a psh every time I talk, but they, all right, really quietly. You can still hear it. Oh, that annoys me so much though. I'm turning it back on. <laughs> the little bit of static every time I talk, ah, oh, it grates on me. 
appreciate that you guys put up with my crap, but nah. Nah. -uh. Alright, we got music on. What else could you really ask for? Professional stream. Better. What you could ask for would be some gameplay. E ask and you shall receive. Units are dead. <laughs> happens sometimes. This happens every once in a while to the best and the worst of us. Um, I don't really want to expose blocks to this crap. Well, probably worth it just to kill this dancer. I don't want them to be able to seek the horizons too easily. They already have three cards in the pile. The odds of them actually being able to seek this turn though are pretty small. I think I'd rather just set up a gate here. I could really do back row gate against these guys though. Like I don't, I don't like the adventure just parking itself on my gate. I have no problem doing a back row. We didn't build the gate! It's been a while since I made that mistake. Um, and the adventure can still get to blocks. Oh. What in the hell? Right, hand cannon's gone. Admiral's gone. We need the gate. I hate to tell you. But I think we do. Damn it, there was another one. <laughs> I was like, I could pretend like it wasn't a mistake by discarding the gate to be like, now we're just drawing quicker, but like, I've done that before and it's really bad. And, or like, well, a lot of it. <laughs> against Celeste, it is not a risk worth taking. We, we just we just swallow our pride and hold the gate. <laughs> I don't have the light. I feel like I've played them before. I feel like we've gamed. Playing some Savannah Elves, doing some Wayfarers, doing some Vargath. Man, Beans was shitting on my Vargath again. Everyone, everyone hates my Vargath. We just fucking dead. <laughs> You could move that to there. I guess it doesn't make a difference, really. So is this nice that my Machinus probably survives? L L L L L L alert. Not is why we wanted to play that gate turn one. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why you want to not throw. If you are tempted to throw, think instead. What if I didn't? What if I did not throw the gate? Wouldn't that be awesome? And then you'll have unlocked the secrets of not throwing. It is fine. It is totally fine. Everything about this is chillin'. 
Do we just try to finish off these things? <laughs> Hagrata just, just, just hopping in with an it's fine. How's it going, Hagrata? I don't want a versatile. Versatile's throwing. I just want to retreat to safety. There is no safety. We can't be safe anymore. Alright, everyone remind me to build. <coughs> is there a better spot for those gates? I don't think so, really. That stops him from putting on that much pressure. Three for three! <coughs> Yeah. Fuck to the yes. Oh, we are going to take a lot of damage, though. Oh, uh, that gate definitely cost us. Because if we had had a gate, we could have, like, put a unit to, like, at least make it so Lox isn't going to get attacked twice this turn. But no. Instead, we suffer. Alright, whatever. As long as we have a bunch of units in our next hand. So we don't just get blown out of the board. We will survive. up <laughs> like we got we gotten a lot of people like reviewing it recently we, it was on the like dice tower what's happening random other podcast just reviewed it i think the game that started it all guys Tonight, when I'm done streaming, we're we're playing some. Haven't gotten to haven't gotten to stream all week. Besides, <laughs> the stream on Monday that we do not speak of, and haven't gotten to game all week. I got home from work last night. I was like, I'm gonna take a quick nap. I think I like at like four thirty or five. I wake up at two a.m. and go on my phone and then watch a video for an hour and then fall back asleep until 8 a.m. <laughs> what is free time? What is that? I'll just sleep all day. Or get, yeah, I mean this, this shows every sign that you'd want from a successful Celeste pushdown. We are going to have to get in there and get in there fast. Vox is like out of the count. There goes most of our value. That's an L. At least we got our gate spot back there. No, we didn't. That adventure is just going to be like 2 a.m. streams. <laughs> Honestly, I did. The thought did cross my mind. If like, if I streamed right now, would anybody show up? <laughs> I think probably not. not. Not that there aren't summoner warriors at 2 a.m. Um... But, like, the pe people that are up at 2 a.m., namely people uh, in other countries, are not used to getting to watch the stream. Though surely they would love to be blessed by it. As would anybody. Um, okay, let's just, like, not die. Seems like a solid plan. I'm convinced. Let's not put our most expensive unit in the front, or I guess like most 
most expensive per health unit. Um, shall we... Dagger? That adventure? I mean, we're gonna kill that. Vox is gonna kill that adventure. Dagger is unfortunately not doing a whole lot for us. Maybe we make them work for the dagger a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully the block can finish this guy off. If not, then it's a little bit of a problem. And hopefully the gunner can 3 for 3 that, I and mean, could have the dagger attack it. But it'd be better not to. Um, yeah, just slow the fuck down. Just stop. Just stop. We're gonna swap with the dagger. We're not. We're not literally just killing that guy. But um, let's see this. Because if that missed, no, that that was a hit, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. See this. We also gotta be afraid of like a slip by kill, which we're not playing at all around at all, by the way. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering if I'm playing around slip by. Yeah, I'm like, wait, Vox is at two health. We could just die. Um Would suck. Big suck. We dead. That's fine. Cooks are really a shit faction, huh? Could have played around flip by. It's you know. It's whatever, really. Alright, that's two L's. Two L's for the stream. Browse some summoner worth second. It it really is the game that started it all. What else? Man, look at those tokens. These tokens are better than like I'm sorry, I don't like I don't I don't like the refined plastic look. I like the like weird jank textured look. There, there were <laughs> when I got like eighth place in like the Gen Con tournament, eighth place out of like twelve people. Or even like, it was, <laughs> I was in the bottom, bottom half. They had like a bunch of prizes and like dealing them out based on place. And as, as one of the last people I get up there, there's still one thing of like tokens left, um, like premium tokens. And I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> uh, I don't want those. But what I did get from the Gen Con tournament, I was, I was like a few people too late to get a rollout mat, but I already had one. So did not need another one. Um, 
I did, I guess they're not going to show. I got a Fungal Dwarf box and I got a Breakers box. That's pretty happy. And I feel like Fungal Dwarfs and Breakers like symbolize everything. For some reason, people weren't jumping on these boxes. Uh, jumping on the other ones. I think I like also might have been able to get an Avians box. Avians are like a very cool box to get as well. Um, these boxes, these boxes are the sort of thing like buy one or two. Like they're very silly and they just kind of don't make sense. Because it's just like, what a box to store a deck and then also some dice and tokens? Like, why would I want that for it? Like, I'm not going to buy 12 boxes of that. But so what makes more sense is to buy one or two. And I think that's kind of the philosophy is get like a couple of them for your favorite factions. I don't know. The whole thing, I, th I think they were like business reasons for why they did the bigger thing, but I would have preferred like a smaller, tighter box. Um, but they look cool and like they're, they're good quality. You can't even like fit two decks in them. Very sad. Oh snap. Got the premium shit for Christmas. Thoughts about. Let's see, it's been a while since I've poked around. I'm gonna watch board game geek. Cool dot counterplay. <laughs> yeah, very, very fair. I hope they've read our guide too. Well, then I got nothing for you. Hey, everyone's like referencing content. I love it. I love it. You don't normally see this person like plays on the app, I think. You don't normally see like app players posting here. Oh, on the new app, I see, I see. The new app person. Name was Sage's exploit. Uh oh. Shadow Mage and Poison Potion, interesting. There's always, no matter how many like rules, things you think you've considered, you've never concerned them at all. Oh, wow. I was just been sitting here for five minutes. Whittling our thumbs. Okay, wait, Shadow Mage and Poison Potion. There's no way you get the thing. No, because it's its own effect. You draw one card. All right, we're not memeing this time, Purse Warden. For real, for reals. Good luck. Purse Warden was like, oh, uh, <laughs> like I, I thought we played a good game, but it looked like you were just memeing the whole time. So uh, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> like, sorry. April Fools, haha. <laughs> Get in their face. I want to play Moto Boots, but I also don't. You know? Do 
be annoying, force, force them to focus the Machinus so they don't kill my gunner somehow. One goes here. One goes here. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna ditch the Machinist. Hold the boots, though. We'll get another Machinist for some boots. Or this one will live. Probably not. <laughs> Surely, hopefully someone gave the right answer here. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. I'm just curious also with like new players that don't immediately find the online, like what they're thinking, what issues they're having. They do both. Ha ha. Colby responds. Shut up. I'm listening to Colby talk. what this music is from in the game. Not taking out my gunner. I like it. We're not really going to have anything to put in front of the gunner next turn, though. Well, except for... Okay, they're still thinking. Phoenix El Dorado. Wait. I'm on site. This is there's an official page. You can find the changed version on someone. This is not. This is not right, guys. We need. We need better answers here. I'm coming to the rescue. An official page for this. The waypoint in the back. The hot take. Not something that I ever do. But... Um, what are the odds they can kill that gunner? <laughs> do we dare put a hand cannon on it? We just have Vlox be the gunner. We don't even need to play a gunner. Okay. Um. Then I'd want to like smoke bomb the gunner. And you know at that point. But I don't want to like hold everything forever. That's fine. We can hold everything forever a little bit. They're not getting that aggressive on us. Well, we could... I could put a gunner over there. Nah, it's fine. I'm fine if they rush this row. Well, no, that's pretty bad for us, actually. Because they, they kill that gunner for free pretty easily. Yeah, we might just rush him here.
We could put a hand cannon and a thing on this gunner then. Yeah, it's fine. It's a little unfortunate that, yeah, both these gunners die so easily, but Like smoke bombing the sniper, like okay, why? It just forces it to be a little bit harder to kill that gunner. I mean that's worth it. But still, doesn't feel great. Oh, we keep drawing events. <laughs> we keep drawing events. Okay. For anyone who's wondering, you can always find the official card update info. Here it is. Get 10% off. Oh my god. What's this page called? Card updates. Browsing Reddit with Ben. E. I even already thumbed up. Hell yeah. Oh, yes, I saw this one. Does this actually say anything about card changes? Like we said, go to card. I mean, like, I guess if you click over here, it's going to tell you. This isn't even accurate. There's, there's some inaccuracies between what's on the app and what's physical it actually says within two spaces of this unit at that time that's what the printed cards say so that's what the app should say but like it's slow <laughs> i want a stream of ben re reading wikipedia articles careful what you wish for that sounds dope <laughs> reading books by a fireplace ah this is like the worst of all the worlds we're getting killed, and we're getting dead, and what, is the adventure going to hit our gate? Yes. This sucks. <laughs> How many points would that cost? <laughs> uh, get out of here with your points. Whatever, there is no number of points I could, like, put something in besides, like, the millions where it's safe from Agrata's might. Agrata won't tell me. How many they have, but I'm afraid. I am very afraid. Uh, do we just put the boots under the sniper for no reason? I think we got to expose Vlox a little bit here. Fuck, but what's the point? Because I got to kill this. <laughs> I gotta kill this. I guess we just put a single hand cannon on this. Oh uh, no, let's do a move phase actually. <laughs> I, I would like to have a move phase.
This would suck if it missed. Anyways. <laughs> In other news. Can't believe I've been holding this molded Moda boots for so long. I'm so greedy. <laughs> no! Ah, I need to try units. Fuck. This is so bad. So you were both here, and you were both here during <laughs> during Admir April. During during April Fools. What 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 did you guys think? <laughs> Regretted and Tortuga Trad of of the, of the meme stream. Uh, I, I I only <laughs> I, I only did it then for April Fools. But I was like, hey, it does seem fun to like have more like chat messing with me sort of things but also that stream was a little bit a little bit on the cringier end as may have been pointed out um i still feel dirty to this day like it's something we could hypothetically do like a meme stream day every once in a while i don't know if i do or like all of that stuff though and I, I like like some of the things like choose what faction i play next but i don't know if i would make that like a permanent reward because yeah, this sucks. This sucks so bad. Um, this is like kind of a. It's a bit difficult to like upkeep because like, what if I want to end the stream? Like, then I gotta like go turn off that reward. <laughs> Which the, it is a very it is very easy. It's just like just to go click one button. Um, wait, I thought all these were mean streams. I mean, yeah, no, no, still Admiral April, still Admiral April, all of twenty twenty four. What I say cringe Mondays with Ben. <laughs> what, what 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 do you think, Hagrada? You 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 were a very big, <laughs> you were you were a critic of the cringe Mondays with Ben. Was it was it was then was any of it was any of the fun of games worth worth it? Or was it just silly? I I, I really like the uh the like. The, the, the end my turn ones and the like take a turn for me is like because you think like oh goodness that's so disruptive but you really have to like be mean to do one of those which I like the like social experiment like Tortugatron will never recover but, but that, that that's not something you would put on regularly um I also think next time I might just be more upfront and be like, hey, I'm doing a silly April Fool's stream. So everyone's not just like, wait, what? What is <laughs> Ben, why are you weird? Stop. Hey, did they miss a four on three? <laughs> Fuck yeah, they did. Let's get out of there. I like it. Alright, this sucks. This still sucks. Um, losing out of shadows at this point, because yeah, they've they've ripped through our units pretty effectively, and we have not paid them back in kind, as far as that goes. Uh, like, whatever. I don't really know what else we can do. Gotta expose Vlox a bit. Don't love it. We just need our, like, other bigger, better units to come out and play. You can do a cool defensive out of Shadows play. Where were you a second ago? Or would I? But I need to occupy this gate. But like somewhere to defend blocks. 
You, 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 you'd have to tell me, because I also don't want it to be weak to, like, the enemy just, like, running up and, like, hitting me real hard. Fucking hell. God damn it. I mean, like, it was deserved. Okay, I need to just fuck the hand cannon. Oh my goodness. Just get out of my hand. Thank you. I need some units. Would have had blocks where the sniper was. Would you have occupied the gate? The forward gate. With the uh, gunner? <laughs> Monday was fine, actually. Because yeah, because you were you were there the whole time, Hagrada. So I I, <laughs> I like to hear whether whether you you loved it, hated it, or loved to hate it, etc. Um, it's 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 something I consider consider doing more. Um. The attack with blocks and put the gunner there. Sorry, sniper. I see. I see. Put that attack with sniper and put the blocks, or just move blocks back. It's fine. Nothing can go wrong here. They, they they didn't attack blocks this turn. That's great. At least I think they didn't. Did they miss? Yeah, they missed. Hell for them. Fuck the sock. They to miss. But yeah, like they're 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 doing a pretty conservative game with the Wayfarers, like. I never have a ton of health to, like, beat up on. They're just kind of putting me in, like, really uncomfortable spots, always? Like, I've, I've not been comfortable once this game. Let me tell you. I'm real uncomfy. Uh, we're still not doing Out of Shadows. Screw that. Am I relying on a one-for-one one to kill them? Wayfarer's Econ win? Hey, it happens. It happens. What was... Um, Kaloon was saying in the Discord the, today that, like, a lot of people interpret, like, Rush as, like, assassinate. So, like, when I say Rush Deepwood Grokes, like, go assassinate Hecatea. But actually, Rush just means in that in, against Hecatea, you probably just want to get in there and kill their commons. Like, it doesn't even mean you want to be going for... Do you want the sniper here instead? Sorry, I can't, like, finish a train of thought. Um... Probably. Slightly better at doing one. Uh, what was I saying? But, but like, just because the faction is rushing you doesn't necessarily mean that it's going econ. Or it doesn't necessarily mean it's going for assassination. Like, factions can get good value on rushing based on what they are. I mean, technically, you gotta ultimately kill the summoner. Like, do you though? You just, they, they could just, you know, give up. You could be friends. I wouldn't worry about it. Would not worry about the details. If the bandit was the one in front, then we would have two attacks on this if this missed. Surely it'll never miss. Green path soundtrack. Yeah, I know this one. We're a gamer. We game around these parts. Oh, we could have gone on Celeste pretty hard. Huh. Let's see how hard we could have gone on Celeste. So many you were saying this why didn't i see those messages <laughs> i just my eyes just glazed right over them uh six six swords five range that's probably worth it i probably should have gone for that at full at a full health lock what do we do something goes here Six swords, five range. No way. With three attacks? Crazy. Does Vlox do this? Okay, if we do if we do this, we can get Vlox attacks first, and then 
does just three does four ranged dice and then we can have one band and then both bandits would attack for three so that'd be six melee and they can alternate if you wanted to put on a sniper or something i'm sure you could make that five melee five ranged five swords somehow if you just attack with the bandit first and then blocks yeah bandit bandit goes first blocks now hits for five other bandit for yeah i mean they have the waypoint to get out of it so i would be thinking about it for sure Getting in my grill a little bit. <laughs> you can just leave this bandit now, like I'm not gonna really deal with it. I keep moving the unit up because I don't want this um dancer to come into my face. Okay, we finally got the Ben's pretty new to Out of Shadows play. Like literally. But still now, like, even if we go for it now, we expose locks and they just waypoint out. Like, I know there's plays here that would do almost 10 damage without, like, actually doing 10 damage. Like, obviously, with the... But because we can't actually get up there in the move phase, I'm not that tempted. If, if Vlox was one spot over, I would be... Big time thinking about this, because then we could get two attacks with blocks, two attacks with a machinist. But we ain't. But we ain't. Instead, we just go for... I mean, I could still have blocks shoot Celeste for a lot. <laughs> Here you could do five swords... Three ranged, yeah. It's not worth it for me right now. That seems right. Thanks for you're, you're just like my intern in the corner, like punching the numbers. But then she could get out next turn. Yeah, exactly. Um This is definitely a tough matchup for Wayfarers. I don't know if we play the Moto Boots this turn. Like, if I don't need it, do I play it? Do I bother? Maybe we should have played something else to be able to... I'm, I'm sad not to be shooting dice at Celeste this turn, is the only thing. Did we discard Not of Shadows this game? Yes. So we only get one out of shadows. At this point. Old? Hold! Everyone stop! Did we play the Out of Shadows? No, we discarded it, right? Pretty sure. Now we're going too far back. In the in the Wikipedia reading stream. Eight placement in the second row. Oh, so we got some tactics discussion. Why not sniper one space further up? Fair. I mean slip by is worse, but. It feels more exposed to me, and it's exposed to the gunner. I think this sniper is mostly here to box of locks. I don't really care about this gate, like, come at me. I don't care. Like, if you come at me, I'm very well positioned to any counterattack of units that come at this sniper. So, I'm more just like, just don't attack blocks. <laughs>
Yep, seems right. Just put them in the second row when you don't want to be aggressive. <laughs> was just curious i took it i took a lot of offense agrada so set a back paddle okay we could have tried to set up you know what we should have done no you're you're right agrada last turn should have been blocks to here sniper to there and we should have played the moto boots on this machinist Because now, like, I, I, I want to set up blocks to dab everywhere. It's a shame. Have we smoke double smoke bombed already? One smoke bomb. Because I don't want to play this boots until we're, like, going for it, you know? I don't like playing all these units. Um, just copy this. That's fine. This is the Nosk fight. Yeah, let's let's try to let's try to do some clever positioning. Um, there's still plays where we get to Celeste here, but I want to actually get to Celeste. I want to beat up Celeste. Time, your time has come. Move somewhere else. I'm now threatening you a lot. Go somewhere else, you coward. Now, if I don't draw the Machinus, that's a different story, but it's fine. We didn't draw the Machinus. Fucking L. <laughs> I mean, maybe they don't kill it, but uh, we got nothing. Man, this faction's so hard to play. It's it's good. Playing it live, though, is more likely to get me into it, because then I'm just, like, not... Because it's just... You're just so prone to overthinking this faction, because there's just so many out-of-shadows possibilities, but also it's like, ah, oh, do I put the boots on this, but it's just going to die, so do I wait? Like, it's just so... Just so hard for me to play these guys. But just playing it fast, you just you get some cool games. You get... Like, because what you really want to do when you're learning is just, like, try out a bunch of different things, and then like you'll just sort of like subconsciously absorb what's working and what isn't so i actually disagree like i heard aaron say that like they think the best way to like improve at this game is to really take your time and think about your turns i would say the opposite like like the, the, like the, that can be helpful and there's a place for that but i think the best way to learn this game is just to like play as fast as you can and play a bunch of games and then maybe once like and, and then like I, I suppose like as fast as you can is isn't super accurate i would start as fast as you can like i would start just like not worrying about it and then as like you once you pick up more and more you'll naturally kind of want to slow down and be like oh but i could do this play oh but i could do this play i could do this play like and just like stop and think about plays as you start noticing them don't force yourself to like think and go through every single possibility of what could happen on your turn and your opponent's turn like that's not fun and you're not gonna be that good at it as a beginner and so like just develop the instinct by just playing a bunch of games and that'll be fun and then you know, you'll, you'll just get better okay, in the process and slow down when you feel like it we're just always trying to justify everything. guys it's not bad when i throw i promise it's skill <laughs> If you kill me, I'll kill you. <laughs> we don't even have dagger. Where the fuck is dagger? Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, without dagger, we're not going to punish this, are we? Fuck me. 
How do we not have dagger? <laughs> like 12, 45 minute games at a time until you get good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so you know, when you put it that way. Okay, we still win though, right? With, we don't have a mechanist in hand. This fucking sucks. Um, I mean, I can roll some dice on you. I don't think I can get a second attack in the move phase. So I can roll six dice plus five melee. Oh yeah, v Vox rolls six. Man, it is just a shame that we cannot... There's just no way to get another Machinist here. There's so many worlds. There's so many worlds in which we kill you. This is not one of them. I can roll nine melee. And there's three melee and nine range. That probably misses. Is there any extra dice if Vlox goes here? And this Moto Boots? That's a few extra. But I, I want to put the motor boot on the bandit, the machinist, though, so. Not really, actually. If Vlox just copies the bandit, that's just plus two dice. I mean, Vlox could get out of dodge, is the other option. Like. Let's go take a look. This never kills. This is like a 28% chance. 27. Did I just call that? Did I just call that? <laughs> Still waiting a bracket, Ben. Do it to your coward. I just sent it. I Oh, oh, like a, a, a bracket bracket. Yeah, I want to. Maybe I should do that. I, I, I want to I wanna fill it out with beans. Beans and I are making a bracket together. And I don't think I want to go through by myself first and think about it. And unfortunately, yeah, I was busy earlier this week. Beans is busy later in this week. So there's going to be a Beans and Ben bracket, but it's probably not going to be made until next week. So we'll miss the we'll miss the the super official deadline. Um, I did. I did just submit my vote on stream, though, for week one. Fuck. Do we take that chance? What's better, four bows on three or three bows on two? Uh, three bows on two. Uh. <laughs> Beans already sent me his bracket. What a what a cheater! What a cheater! It's th thirty-seven percent since you can make it another bandit. I suppose. I sp yeah. Okay. I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. Am I winning this game if I just live? That's what we need to ask ourselves. If we just survive this turn, do we win? I think the answer is probably yes. Now, there's some obvious problems that we encounter. Like, like I, I, I don't want to pretend like it's going to be fine when it's not going to be fine. Like... We just go to here, we go to here. Like, if we just go to here... Can they play both coordinates? Yeah, so they they can't get this rogue up here, so... Vlox is actually just safe over here. Um, We could also... There's probably an Out of Shadows play where we, like, end up with Vlox being safe. <laughs> now that you mention it. Um, but I might just rather clean up shop.
I don't know what we put the moto boots on. What do we want to copy? Yeah, it was a Hail Mary from them, and it worked out. Oh, and we don't have another Out of Shadows, so we probably want to wait on the Out of Shadows. If we did have another, then I would just play it. Or, like, I would think about playing it, and probably not, because I'm too lazy to find the play. What do we put the Moto Boots on? Is this really where I'm just going to get caught up? Can't find a Moto Boots target. I suppose with Out of Shadows is the other way to get extra dice here. Yeah, I think we just get out of the way. Um, which bandit do we put our... Which unit do we put our thing on? I mean, do we do we waste a smoke bomb this turn? On the gunner? Sure. What the heck ever. It's useful on a gunner. And, and I mean, we have, we have another boots here. Right, there's no way they can kill me here. I mean, another slip by? Another slip by would just kill me. <sighs> they played both slip by. Okay, they're out of everything. They're out of everything, right? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, ain't no how. Someone tell me how we die here. With both slip eyes and both coordinates gone, I don't see it. I don't see how we die. I think we're chilling. Uh, do we go with the adventure? We're going for econ. I think we do. Do this first. Force the Mac in his back a spot? Nah, force him to play a card way out the fuck over there. Oh, we get extra attacks? Why do I have more attacks? Oh, because this was the move phase attack. Haha, uh -huh. I knew that. I super knew that. Man. Alright, now that's a winning hand. Man, can we win Econ? Why am I going for Econ if I have no Econ? I mean... I feel like we probably just win Econ out of the fact that they've just like super committed to this and now need to just like... kinda sit back and twiddle their thumbs for the rest of the game since they missed. Were they going for a kill? How many dice did they miss that turn? 11, and they attacked with 3 melee, 7 melee, and let's just see, and 6 range. 7 melee, 6 range on 11. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty, I think that's less than 20% if I had to guess. A shot at a kill. Look at us cloaking. All right, let's do a. Let's do a poll. Do you like the cloaks? Um.
maybe option. Nope. We're gonna allow additional votes. <laughs> All right, you get two options. Either they're in your like favorite eight decks or they suck. <laughs> no maybes allowed. They suck. <laughs> Three votes for they suck. Now, what do you think that's one person <laughs> or not? We could see a hundred votes for they suck right now. That wouldn't even wouldn't even cost any dimes off it. That's like five thousand points. Rada can play that, play that in this in their sleep. Smug pretty boy Vlox. Exactly, exactly. Right? Isn't there some lore where Vlox is like Like stole his daughter's summoning stone, or his summoning stone was supposed to get summoning stone was supposed to go to his daughter, and then he like is like, oh, I'll, I'll just take care of that for a little bit. But then secretly is a bastard. Pretty smug boy, Vlox. Favorite twelve-ish equals they suck. Yep, yep. Top eight or they suck. All right, them's the rules. Leonardo's daughter. Oh, I see. Who's Leonardo? <laughs> oh, Leonardo. Leonardo. Leonardo was the guy that you guys were speculating maybe is the forged, is the is the inventor, or was that on the um, that on the scuffle last weekend? Or who said that? Probably. I think oh, uh, think Magus led to the lore. The turtle with the katanas. What? Oh. <laughs> Wait, is it is it not a, is it not a character too? In I'm not gonna worry about it. Wayfarers versus Polydors tomorrow. I could prep for that. <laughs> I could watch some games. How do you? How would how do Wayfarers win in that matchup? Like I mean, it seems pretty easy. Wayfarers just win if you rush and it's good, and Polydors win if they get good econ stuff with your polar dwarving. Like it feels like a pretty straightforward matchup because. You're probably not going to get an assassination kill as Celeste, and you're probably not going to get like a surrounding kill as Celeste. You really, as Celeste, you, you would really only win. I think Celeste is not favored. Polar Dwarves are favored, but Celeste wins by just you just get a get really good, um, just get really good value, just get better trades, just pump, kill all those golems as they pop up. You can get some good dice with Celeste. I think I played this matchup with Aaron twice in a row because I was like, I lost really bad. And I was like, no, this time I'll get you for sure. And then I lost again really bad. <laughs> it's probably like a month or two back on stream. You can go watch. And it's my turn in a game of Summoner Wars 12 minutes ago. According to my phone. First Warden's scared, they don't know what to do. Breeden. How does newbie overcome the hiding summoner? Some never do. 
hate to say it, but like some players, <laughs> Beans easily, like if you're not going aggro, they don't got anything. They don't have any other tactics. It 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 is a disease that affects many a summoner. Do you like the cloaks? They suck. Wins with three votes. Play OD. Very big whoopsie. What's the whoopsie? Oh my goodness. This post, I read this. This post is, I do not understand what the, this person just has like a very, a, 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 a reading of, a reading of like clear straight spaces that doesn't make any sense. Um, What's aiming at? New dice card promo cards coming. I doused dice tower. Yeah. We're getting Tress, but we're not going to get to play with Tress for a year unless you back the dice towers promo, which. It was fairly difficult on their website to determine how much money that was. But. It seemed like a pretty sizable bit you had to spend. It, it's just a, it's a funny, like, <laughs> I respect the Dice Tower a lot, and, I, and I'm a fan, but, like, the whole, it, and I also respect the model of, like, hey, let's Kickstarter, like, to fund ourselves, because, like, getting, like, ad revenue on YouTube is, like, super volatile and not a good source of income. Um, but, like, the, the Dice Tower packages are funny, because it's, like, here's ten different promos, to, like, if you're lucky, you're gonna have games for, like, two of these. Though, I suppose maybe one of the packs you have, you have promos to a lot of them. And it's cool that, like, they're, ex I mean, the fact that they are, they are, like, exclusive promos is immediately gonna pique interest. I don't know if all of them are exclusive, but, like, it seems like they reach out to publishers directly and say, hey, we want exclusive promos. And the publishers like it, too, because that raises, like, publicity for the game. I don't know. Dice Tower, cool. This seems a <laughs> <laughs> just, just mad that I had to pay like sixty dollars to get Tress and wasn't willing to do that. <laughs> I feel like we're gaming here. We might lose Econ. Who knows? I think probably not, <laughs> but you, you never know. Leave it to me to throw, right? Are you looking for a man to throw for you? I will throw any game. Chris wouldn't rage quit, literally. Couldn't take the heat. Double and bark. Yeah, that's rough. Putting the putting the heat on me. I like it. I mean, I don't like it, but like, I like it. Ah, uh, Gunner's dead. <laughs> What happened to our hand cannon? <laughs> we could dagger in? Then our dagger just dies. And nobody likes that. Like, Sinsin goes in, attacks, and then dagger attacks. But again, that seems kind of bad. Well, since it gunner attacks this, okay, I think the play. Okay, well, again, how are we not getting versatile value here? Clearly, that's a thing we can do. I mean, I don't really want to throw down the bandit motor boots if we don't have to. Fine, we'll keep it. We'll keep it then. See if I see if I care. Uh, is it, are we ever just gonna die because you break this gate and then like kill me with Aldo or something? Um, their attacks are gonna be this, this, this. Um, where's the rogue to move if they want to get in there? Uh, 
Uh, no Baldo magic, so we're safe. It fucking is. This is Grim? Am I right about that? This is Grim, right? I feel like these these units can take the end game. It's a pretty powerful hand. I feel like we can take whatever they throw at us, but we it'll be close. We were definitely I mean, I feel like whatever we have is better than seven there are the thirty seven percent chance that her that um Shara said. Was it yeah, thirty seven. I mean thirty seven's decent. That's better than better than one third. So maybe if we lose this game by a landslide, then you could say, Ben, you should have gone for that 37% chance to win. And you'll be right. whoop de doo for you. Yeah, now this rogue will be exposed to the Machina, Sinsin. We don't want Sinsin to die. As soon as Sinsin's damaged, well, she'll just become a dagger. Want to put the boot? Who who do you put the boots on? Because we need to put boots on something to get Vox out of there. A bandit in the back. I just didn't like that the bandit could just be shot, could be killed so easily. You didn't summon the admiral. You must concede. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. But it won't let me. Can only do it in my turn. F. Big F. Probably the Machinus that was alive then. It was at 3 health, though. Like, he was gonna die. I guess you're saying, like, force that to be a target? It it died even without the Moto Boots on it. <laughs> Curse Warden gonna... <laughs> you sit there for 20 minutes. I mean... <laughs> hashtag power play, though. For real, for real. You Moto back. There. There. Mm. And then I could even... I could even... I could even put a b thing on it. The ba ba da You persuaded me. You persuaded me. You win. You win this fight. How did they kill it exactly? What, what did they do to kill this? Was it just a 3 for 3? Okay, so we would have also... No, they had a 5 for 5. To get that kill. Okay. Well, this, this this is very intense music, but I'm I'm dabbing to it. Great music. Uh, 
Hollow Knight is a great game. I am always saying this. Oh, man. Yeah, this art really does seem to be better. It's so sad. I just want to, like, vibe and look at a picture of Celeste, but it's so blurry. I hate it. Give me the good art. Yeah, kill my gutter. See if I care. You're gonna kill the gate? Make me... Make me mad about it? God, whistling probably sounds really bad over the microphone. <laughs> well, let's see. Let me, let me put on... Alright. I can't hear anything. I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> Bands over there. So I was hoping the bandit now has to commit itself to like do something, but it doesn't really. We could do a machinist if they go for this gate like I'm expecting them to. Machinist to here? We could attack with blocks. Blocks attacks and then Sinsen moves in front and we're fine. VM going over there makes some sense, some amount of sense, some very minimal amount of sense, I guess. Okay, it sucks that the machinist can get four for forward. Maybe we don't do that. I want to kill this rogue though. Does the dagger just... Do we just dagger? I think we just dagger. Dagger and only expose Sinsen. Let, let, you can waste all your time on Sinsen if you want. I dare you to. Olden Machinist Moto Boot seems good. Man, I mean, it would appear like we haven't managed our magic very well, but uh, that is that is a false appearance. Summon all your rogues, but there's also some reclaims from Seek. So, it's still a bit sketch. It's my turn to game of Summoner Wars. That's crazy. Couldn't be me. Okay, we do want to kill this to actually stop the Seek, I'm realizing just now. That Seek gets off, it's kind of bad. Awesome. Easy sauce. Five. Nail in the coffin. <laughs> L. At least he can't swap because it's a champion. Fucker. Yeah, let's swap. Let's sly. How much? How much you want to pay me? How many channel points are you willing to cough up? We done. Whoa, wait. Did we just draw another Machinist? We had another Machinist in the... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's crazy. No way. No way, no how. Wonderful. I love to see it. I am always saying we have another Machinist. Don't even worry about it. we always got that extra machinist just when we need it
What's the bigger threat here? Rogue? I got the rogue. Um, where do we want the, where do we want this bandit these days? Because we're gonna swap dagger with this bandit, so we probably want this bandit somewhere. Another bandit. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what it does. I have no idea. Are we dead to something stupid that I didn't think about? Never. Not me, surely. Little old me? Dead to something stupid that I didn't think about? We could have protected our machinist a little bit more. By like summoning another machinist and putting it there. I wouldn't worry about it. Not like that guy with moto boots is valuable or something. Do we move blocks out of here? I don't think so. I mean, we should have done that earlier. Anyways. Or magic? Gusto? Could be. Did they discard last time? Sinsen was destroyed? Wait, you killed Sinsen? You rat bastard. You were supposed to not kill Sinsen. What? That, that was an L. Okay, uh, we missed... It. Okay, let's just watch it. <laughs> you little old rat bastard, you. With one card in hand and five magic, that is Baldo magic. Um, so we summon a guy. Is there a world where if I so if I end up with a machinist here, or bandit there, machinist there, is there any world where? Baldo, no, Celeste has to go here. Baldo goes here. Yeah, no, Baldo could go to here, kill the, kill the bandit, and then Celeste gets the kill shot. Okay, so we got to move to the side. Okay, we need to think about this turn. That's what we got to do. <laughs> um, I don't really need to attack with Vox. It would just be kind of cool. What do I care if they waypoint? I mean, killing the waypoint is cool, I admit. But, like, I don't know if we can afford to be cool in this day and age. Okay, what if Vox just kills this and then the Machinist approaches? And we play the other Machinist for shits and giggles? Just moto blocks the safety. Yeah, but then, but safety over here is even more dangerous. Like, that's actually not safety. Without, okay. I'm just going to have faith that there's some world in which we're something like this. Surely, surely we can find a way to be safe here, right? Right? Everyone has faith in me. Yeah. Since we hit that hit, now we're chilling. Behind your 10 health gate. Uh, nope. We're attacking with blocks. <laughs> Can't stop me. Uh, but now I believe we are safe. Um. We can even... Burst? Do we want to burst? I don't see why we would. Could reposition my unit so they're slightly harder to hit.
in the attack phase. Nah, because I don't really... I don't want them to get free hits on Dagger. Dagger good. Is Dagger even that good in this day and age? I don't think there's any better spot for blocks than there, though. Is that is that the best way to do it, actually? Oh, yeah, no. If we move this Machinus back, they can just get in there. Um, well, not if blocks goes one space to the side. Okay, are we throwing? We've thrown before in situations very similar to this. I believe we have successfully not thrown the game. Red alert. Ben is not throwing the game. Everyone, hide. Jeez. The Redemption Game. Cloak's best faction. Easy faction. Well, let's go out on a W here. I should take off anyways. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, tune in tomorrow at noon Eastern. For <laughs> First Warden messages me, says, there's your revenge. GG. <laughs> witty response. <laughs> Man, was hoping you'd play dwarves. Uh, you know, tell people. Try to, try to, try to slam. Um, wait, no, I think we're playing dwarves on stream. Um, right now we have, yes, yeah, so, oh, sorry, noon, noon tomorrow. Uh, Polar Dwarves versus Wayfarers. Um, but were you hoping I'd play some Dwarves tonight? Um, so far we have four votes for Vexor to play Dwarves, eight for them to vote Wayfarers. So, Machinus kind of look like Dwarves. Yeah, there you go. Um, so it looks like I'll be playing Polar Dwarves right now. I, I hope it stays that way, but I'd play some, I don't know. Like both these factions it seems like it's it's a good OG matchup to end it out with. Uh, it'll be fun. Oh, all right, short stream, two and a half hours short stream. I'm glad I can. I'm glad two and a half hours can be a short stream. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Bye.